Hey Aries, this is Moonpod doing your end of January love reading. Last couple weeks, we'll take a look and see what the energies are playing out with the person that you're dealing with first, and then we'll take a look at your energy, okay? So if you want to check out the February love readings, have already been uploaded, they're in my playlist, so go over and check those out. Little sneak peek, they're kind of early, but I just figured I'd try and get them out if I could. All right, Aries, 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 person, ooh. Got a card flipped out here. Oh, we have two cards that flipped out here, so we're taking them. Okay, King of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. Your person does not know if um, they can trust you. They do, they're not sure if you're the real deal. There's, a, there's. Uh, all right, I want to take back trust. Take that out. That's not what I meant. They're not sure if you're the real deal. Okay, when the King of Wands is in the reverse, sometimes your person is looking at you, male or female, as if you have like kind of a scattered energy or they're just not too sure. There's not a lot that they know about you. They're not sure if you would be someone who would be like in a leadership position to be like in partnership with them, which usually you are, but they just have some doubts. Maybe you have disappeared on them for a little bit, or maybe you've ghosted them and they're wondering like, I, I just feel like your person... They don't know enough about you to make a full judgment, like deep down about you. They just kind of are just unsure, right? There's a lot of temptation here. So your person does feel like an element of um, yumminess towards you. Um, but they're kind of confused. Maybe because they see you as coming across this way in the reverse where you might be a little scared. This is like the cowardly lion, um, but you're an Aries, so the cowardly ram. Um, just kind of you hopping from one rock to the... But you may not be, but they might just are worried that you will kind of like not settle down with them or that you will stay in your freedom state. You know what I mean? Like, they're not 100% sure about you. They want to be sure about you, but they're not 100% sure. Yeah, this... But look, they want love with you like they want to make a proposal they want to connect with you they just don't have enough information about you just yet I don't know if you're presenting yourself as being cowardly or scattered or non-committal um, you might be but and there could be a lot of different reasons for that you know you you might just have stuff going on that you just can't get into anything serious at this time that that could you know that happens to all of us you know maybe there's a work thing you're connected to or something that you're doing but I do feel like um, this is water energy. I do feel like your person is intrigued by you and very attracted to you and does want to come forward. You might get some offer or love proposal the last couple of weeks or 10 days or whatever. So it's a very positive situation. You may need to just, you know, kind of you're you might maybe they think you're hiding as well and you may need to like come out into the open and try to be a bit more approachable to them I mean usually you kind of are but there might be some of you listening who are not or you really haven't been for for some reason um <laughs> And I guess it really doesn't matter whether you do or not, because they're coming after you anyway. Um, I just feel like they want the truth. They want they want to find out more about you. They want you to expose yourself. And I feel like they're either going to travel to come see you or make a way to be in your space so that they can learn more about you and connect with you or find out more about you. Perhaps the last couple of weeks, maybe you'll have an event or you'll see this person, even if you don't know them. You know, maybe they know of you or know you in some way. All right, so let's take a look and see. You, what's going on with you? Okay. Um. Yeah. So you're working, working for a living, living and a working, just doing your thing, focusing. You're not even, like. That's why they're confused, or they think that you really don't want like a love thing because you're just like so busy. You're you you. You can't be distracted from what's going on in your life right now. You're just, you're building, you're crafting, you're, you're living your life, you're working hard, you're doing whatever. Um, but maybe you don't want, maybe like this person, I feel like some of you are just unsure about love or you're unsure about love with this person. And maybe you're throwing them off a little bit. 
you know, or you're just unsure, like this is what you want in your life right now or want to go the distance with this person. So you're kind of like throwing yourself into your work and kind of throwing them off so they don't get any like hints or ideas. Maybe they're really into you more than you are to them. There's no way to really know. Um, but the Queen of Swords is here. This is Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. You could have someone um, that's a friend of yours that's telling you, be open and honest with this person. Be truthful with them. Um, you may need to talk to a Queen of Swords and communicate with her about um, the situation. Or some of you could be involved with um, an air sign and you may need to tell this air sign what the deal is or what's going on, right? Because you were coming up as a king of wands in reverse, so very masculine, um, alpha, but scattered type of energy, just maybe just trying to throw them off for a good reason, but it seems to me like you need to be truthful with them, or you need to talk to this queen of swords, and she might be telling you, be upfront and honest, okay, so strength in reverse, there's a lack of confidence here, or the will to tell this person, because maybe you don't want to hurt their feelings, um, maybe to talk to this person, maybe this is, um, if you're male listening, maybe you're involved with this person and you like somebody else and you don't want to hurt this person's feelings. If you're female, um, maybe this is like someone that she's attracted to and you are as well, but you don't want to throw this person off and have them like you because out of respect for your friend, but you don't have the will to tell her this or the strength to be truthful with her and say to her, you know, we're both liking the same person. And I'm not trying to be rude or anything. Like, I get the girl code. I get the guy code. I'm not going to try to interfere. But you're kind of throwing them off. But I feel like if that's your situation, this person who this reading is for is actually really interested in you, Aries. They want to be with you. Okay. So this is like a lack of um, bravery here. Okay. So again, like I said, you're not trying to hurt your friend. Um, but you're trying to avoid your friend. This could be a friend from childhood or the person you're with. You're trying, like, you don't want to talk about it. There's, you don't want to drag up the past for some reason. Um, you don't want to reconcile anything about this situation. Even this person who's coming or that really is wants to be with you, you may not try to reconcile anything with them because there's a block. There's a fear of hurting someone or there's a fear of, like, not, of not being... Um, altruistic or truthful or honest right you don't want to be seen that way because I really feel like you are very much like that you don't want to get involved in a third party drama situation either and I know a lot of you are like that like you just you don't really like the drama you would rather just go and live your best life and have your adventures and yada yada boom boom but some of you are just kind of like I'm just going to ignore this situation right now and just keep working um, and not do anything because there's something occurring with somebody else Okay. Yeah. See, you don't want to cause any like betrayals or hurts or, or have any like problems. You just want, you just want, you're willing all of this away here. And it's hard because you know, um, somebody may get hurt or somebody may feel betrayed. You might betray yourself. Maybe you, you know, I don't know who this, this third party it could be a job. It could be, um, a lover. It could be a friend's lover. It could be, freaking Jesus Christ who the heck knows right um whatever the reason and I'm I'm not saying that in vain I'm I'm actually saying his name whatever the reason you just don't want to be part of a betrayal that's all so I don't know I guess maybe you have to I feel like you have to come clean I'm not telling you to come clean you do what you want to do because you know your situation better than me it's just a general reading but I feel like you do have to be honest or or talk to a friend about the situation who isn't connected to these two people so you can gain some clarity because if it's a queen of wands uh, I'm sorry a queen of swords Gemini Aquarius Libra you'll get the truth for sure and they will give it to you straight and give you good guidance so all right, Aries, this is your reading. Love you so much. I will see you guys very shortly and enjoy the February love readings are already uploaded. Bye.